Welcome to Tech Talk, and my name is Terry Gong, and today we're going to talk about the secret to uh, connecting your Mac to a TV or to another monitor. Hooking up a Mac or a MacBook to a TV or monitor is a bit complex, but I hope that this Tech Talk will give you the answers you are looking for. The first thing to do is to find out what kind of video does uh, your Mac have. Um, Apple makes proprietary ports and will change them from time to time to keep, keep up with the technology. In this phase, um, I call it port awareness. The next thing you need to do is to find out what kind of inputs you have on your TV. This is the flashlight discovery phase. And then you'll need to figure out what kind of adapters and cables you'll need. And uh, this is probably, uh, do I have the funding phase? And then you need to hook them all up. To the right, we see a, uh, uh, a great chart. And um, this chart is interesting in that it shows the progression of video by name and by pixel resolution count. And if you notice the circles at the uh, lower right-hand corner, they show the screen ratios. Currently, right now, uh, 16 by 9 seems to be a little bit popular. Anyway, check your televisions, your monitors, and your video recording devices, their inputs and outputs. And of course, as always, we encourage everyone uh, to be informed. Uh, what kind of video out do you have on your Mac? If you have a new Mac, you'll have a, you'll have a mini display port as depicted in picture A. There we see the port and the plug. If you have a middle-aged Mac that's uh, running two or three years old, you might have a mini DVI port as depicted in picture B. If you have a Mac Mini or a Mac Air, you might have a one, a mini display port, A if it's new, or a micro DVI port depicted in picture C. Looks a little bit like a USB port, but it's not. It's a micro DVI port. And um, older Macs, some of the older Macs that I've seen, the black ones, um, have the industry standard uh, DVI port uh, depicted in picture D. The real old and ancient Macs have uh, an S uh, video port, as in picture E. Note that Macs or Apple computers have proprietary video ports so Mac owners might have to buy special and often short transition adapters. Um, something I call pigtails. These adapters will help the video signal transition to the industry video standard. If you have a new Mac, you'll need an adapter cable and a cable and an audio cable. Let's first look at the um, Apple adapters made for the mini display port. There are actually two types of mini display port adapters. Uh, one is the DVI, as you can see on the lower uh, left hand corner. And then there's the VGA connector. And uh, we can see even on the pinouts on the VGA, the red, green, and blue uh, breakouts for that. Um, I have to warn you that there is no video composite solution for mini display ports. In other words, you won't be able to go in by the yellow cable. If you have an older MacBook Air or a mini Mac, you will need a micro DVI adapter and a video cable and an audio cable, of course. The micro DVI port is unique to the Air and to the Mac Minis. Let's look at the Apple adapters made for the micro DVI port. And micro DVI ports come in three flavors. We see there's uh, in picture A, a DVI a pigtail, and then there is a, uh, a B is a VGA pigtail, and C is an S video and composite. Um, pigtail. I think S-Video and Composite are about the same, same uh, quality. 
So I don't think there's going to be much improvement between switching between the two. In fact, there isn't even an adapting cable for that. Once you have your adapter cable or the pig table, pig, pig, pigtail or short cable, um, you'll have to buy the appropriate video cable to the TV. Most of the uh, video cables are male to male in, in um, both the digital and the analog world. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is let's talk about the analog world and let's go to the to the extreme right of the screen and you'll see that uh, there are the two uh, older composite style pigtails and they're of course for the old DVI uh, micro DVI ports found on the old Mac minis and the old Mac uh, Macs um, and the Mac Airs um, screen resolution on the composite side is uh, 800 to 800 by 480 uh, pixels, and uh, that's for SVGA. SVGA is the only thing being made nowadays, so SVGA pretty much became synonymous with uh, uh, VGA because it is the de facto of VGA. So when I say VGA, we can interchange those terms. Uh, looking at the cables, we see an ESC video cable, which has a distinct uh, four pin, four pins showing, and uh, and a lock and then or you can get a um, composite cable um, which is a, which is a single yellow cable if you don't have a composite cable just use a composite uh, with stereo and, and don't use the stereo connections mm. let's go to the B picture now and we're looking at the VGA pigtail and we see that the VGA pigtail can connect to your TV through uh, two VGA uh, a, a male to male VGA uh, connector and of course um, then there's the VGA connector with the three component uh, RGB uh, connectors and uh, we see the red green and blue they say that the signal is better or clearer because there's channel separation and of course the outside is shielded looking at picture A now we're at the DVI uh, pigtail, and we see that uh, on the DVI cables to the television, there are two choices. You have a DVI to DVI um, connector, and then you have a DVI to HDMI connector. Once again, the DVI format and I believe the VGA format are getting less and less popular on uh, televisions on monitors it's not really a problem now let's talk about the audio the audio can come out of uh, the Mac through the uh, mini stereo port in all Macs you can use the mini stereo PC connector cable and go into the red and white audio RCA jack into your TV or monitor Picture A has a typical PC mini stereo cabling with RCA plugs or some TVs or devices have a mini stereo port in, in like in the picture B. So you can use one or the two cables. Uh, more than likely you'll be using the RCA cables. And believe it or not, in the new Max, out of the same plug, is a high quality optical 5-in-1 fiber audio signal and that signal can go to a fiber optical port on a fancy TV or a fancy stereo system. This will provide you with 5-in-1 channel surround sound audio as you see in picture C and that's what that would look like. It almost it looks like an audio plug but it's uh, running uh, optical or uh, light through that. Be very careful about that cable. It's easy to break and uh, don't bend it around too hard. <laughs>